R. von S. Fraser was born on September 1, 1925 and died on August 7, 2018. She was an American women's rights advocate and political campaigner. She held the position of Senior Fellow Emerita at the Humphrey Institute of Public Affairs, University of Minnesota, and from 1993 to 1994 was the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. She also managed the political campaigns of her husband Donald M. Fraser during his career, from 1954 to 1979. Fraser was born in Lamberton, Minnesota, to parents Saul and Delbert and Phyllis Dufreen Skelton and grew up on their family farm. She attended Lamberton High School, graduating in 1943. In 1948, she received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Liberal Arts from the University of Minnesota. While studying there, she had her first experience of working on a political campaign when she worked in the office of Hubert Humphrey's U.S. Senate campaign. Following graduation, Fraser began her career in Minnesota Democratic Farmer Labor Party DFL, politics editing the party newsletter and acting as secretary for the state chairperson. VVVVVVV she became vice chair of the party in 1956, a position she held until 1962. In 1960 Fraser was active in the Minnesota Citizens for Kennedy campaign and go shared Arthur Naftalin's successful mayoral election campaign. She served on the Minneapolis Board of Public Welfare from 1961 to 1963, and she became active in the women's rights movement, serving as national president of Women's Equity Action League from 1972 to 1974 and as the first director of the Wheel Fund intern program. In 1976, Fraser led the Carter Mundell presidential campaign in the Upper Midwest. After the election victory, she was appointed counselor, Office of Presidential Personnel in the Jimmy Carter administration, and later served as director of the Office of Women in Development at the U.S. Agency for International Development from 1977 to 1981. She was a U.S. representative to the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women, and was a member of the U.S. delegations to the first two U.N. World Conferences on Women. Fraser was a senior fellow at the Humphrey Institute of Public Affairs, University of Minnesota, from 1982 to 1994 and a senior fellow emerita. At the Humphrey Institute, now the Humphrey School, she directed the International Women's Rights Action Watch, AROR, and co-founded the school's Center on Women and Public Policy. In June 1986, Fraser entered the campaign for lieutenant governor of Minnesota alongside George Latimer, the pair lost the DFL primary. From 1993 to 1994 she served as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. Alongside her own career, Fraser ran the political campaigns of her husband, including for his elections to the Minnesota Senate 1954 to 1962. The U.S. House of Representatives 1963-1979 and the mayoralty of Minneapolis 1980-1993. Every campaign she managed for him resulted in a successful election outcome. In 1979, she received an honorary Doctor of Laws from Masalista College. In 2007, she received the Outstanding Achievement Award from the University of Minnesota. In 1992, she received a Resourceful Woman Award for Women's Human Rights from the Tides Foundation. In 1995, she received the Prominent Women in International Law Award, Women's Interest Group, American Society of International Law, becoming the first non-lawyer to receive this award. Fraser also received the Louis Bisson Human Rights Award from the UN Association, the Superior Honor Award from the U.S. Agency for International Development and the Elizabeth Boyer Award from Wheel. She received the Minneapolis His Outstanding Achievement Award and the Minneapolis International Citizen Award. She married Perry Morgan in 1946, they divorced in 1949. In 1950, she married Donald M. Fraser, and the couple had six children, Thomas, Mary, John, Lois, Anne, and Jean, and seven grandchildren. 
He died at 92 years old.